Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of Firefox, version 127, which has just started rolling out maybe an hour or so ago earlier today on the 11th of June 2024. Now, first of all, if you are using the browser and you'd like to double check that you have this update, as always, we head to our main menu, click on Help, click on About Firefox, and the latest version and build after this update has been applied is 127.0. Now, in this latest release, we get five new features. We get various security fixes, and we also get one or two changes and improvements. Now, first of all, focusing on the new features, the first of which is you can now set Firefox to automatically launch whenever you start or restart Windows computers. Now, this is a new setting, which is turned off by default, but if you'd like to enable it, we head to our settings, and yeah, under General Startup, you'll see Open Firefox automatically when your computer starts up. So if that's something you'd like the browser to do, you can always toggle that on. As mentioned, that is off by default. Now, the next two I'm just going to mention, and they are both regarding HTTPS. The first of which is Mozilla say they have completed work to optimize and enable DNS prefetching for HTTPS documents. So basically what this means, it allows web developers to specify domain names for important assets that should be resolved preemptively. And then the next one regarding HTTPS is that Firefox won't play HTTP media on HTTPS pages anymore if it cannot upgrade the protocol to HTTPS. So that would be your image, video, and audio files. So what this means at the end of the day is that files that cannot be upgraded will not be loaded by the browser anymore. So and those are two security improvements regarding HTTPS, which are taking place under the hood with this latest release. Now, this next new feature, I'm actually quite happy to see roll out um, because most other mainstream browsers have this already. And you can now close duplicate tabs in Mozilla Firefox. And there's two options available. The first is if you head to your list all tabs, this little upside down chevron here to the top right, you'll see close duplicate tabs. And the next option available to close duplicate tabs, I would just consider to be the easiest. And you just right click on a tab and yeah, you'll see close those duplicate tabs. So that's one of those little small significant features that have now finally been made available in Firefox. And then the next feature is added protection on Mac and Windows. Now what this means is that Windows and Mac OS users can configure the browser to prompt for authentication when the built-in password manager is accessed. So basically the new option is called request device sign-in to fill and manage passwords. And if you want to get to the setting, once again we head back to our settings page. This time we click on privacy and security and if you just scroll down here a little bit, you will see uh, there's a new setting, require device sign-in to fill and manage passwords, which is turned off by default. And if you toggle that on, you can see it's already prompting me for my PIN, which is a um, nice extra layer of protection. So if you want to use that, you can just toggle that setting on require device sign-in to fill and manage passwords. Now, those are the five new features in version 127. And just focusing on two changes and improvements. And I'm just going to mention the next one. Uh, because once again, it's for Mac OS users. And Mozilla says links and other focusable elements are now tab navigable by default on Mac OS instead of following Mac OS's keyboard navigation settings. So what this means is this is a more accessible default and matches the default in all other platforms. They also mention a checkbox in the settings page still allows users to restore the old behavior. So if you are using Firefox on Mac OS, that's a bit of a change and improvement. Now, the next change and improvement to mention for the purpose of this video is that Firefox's built-in screen tool um, can now take screenshots of certain file types, including SVG and XML, where previously it couldn't, as well as several internal about colon pages, and they've also improved the performance for the screenshot tool in Firefox 127, which I think is a nice move uh, in the right direction. Now that's more or less the new features and the changes and improvements and we also get some developer changes and enterprise changes which are taking place under the hood which I don't think will be of interest to your average home user. But now we're just going to focus on those security updates. So for this we're just going to head back quickly to our 
about Firefox menu, click on what's new. And yeah, you'll see if we scroll down to various security fixes, we've got a couple of security issues that have been addressed in version 127. Now in total, we have 15 security fixes that have rolled out addressing obviously those issues when it comes to security holes that need to be patched in version 127, which I always say is a good thing. And even if you're not interested in new features, just make sure you've up to date because of the security side of things. And out of the 15 security fixes that have rolled out, uh, there are four high impact vulnerabilities that have been addressed, which is your second highest impact vulnerability under a critical, so nonetheless, still an important security update that has rolled out 15 security fixes in total and four of those are high impact so guys that's more or less um what's new in firefox 127 which is the latest release and as mentioned that rolled out a little bit earlier today on the 11th of june 2024 so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one